Bunny Mellon has always been a fascinating person to me. She was a style icon and an American aristocrat. She was also a talented horticulturalist and garden designer. She was given the nickname Bunny by her mother when her nanny said that she liked to hop around in the garden just like a bunny. Her father was president of the Gillette Razor Company and her grandfather invented Listerine. When she was only a young girl, she asked her father if she could plant a garden in front of her bedroom window. He allowed her to do it, and from this small area, her passion and talent grew. She would eventually own many homes in her lifetime. From Nantucket to Antigua, and all places in between, she always kept a garden. Her husband said of Bonnie, that she could nurture a plant that seemed surely dead back to health, and it would thrive. When she was older, Bunny became ill for a short time. She was unable to tend her garden, so she had some of her potted plants brought into her bedroom. From that experience, she became a master topiarist. The Gardens of Bunny Mellon is 307 pages. It was written by Linda Holden and photographed by Roger Foley. The book retails at $65. I was able to get this copy for $35 at thriftbooks.com. It was shipped in three days, and when I received it, it was still wrapped in plastic. The book not only details her personal, private gardens, but also some of the gardens that she was commissioned to design. This is Bunny's greenhouse, at the Oak Spring Estate property in Virginia. It is a true work of art. The potting shed displays a faux painting of shelves that contain an assorted collection of antique garden tools. These shelves are actually just cabinet doors that hide a gardener's often used and sometimes messy items. In 1961, John and Jacqueline Kennedy asked Bunny to design the Rose Garden at the White House. He also requested that many of the plants that were featured in the garden journals belonging to Thomas Jefferson be planted in the garden also. Her vision not only helped make the garden, but it created an American symbol of beauty and life. Louis XIV's kitchen garden at Versailles, or Potager du Bois, was in ruins Bunny was asked to help restore it. Today, the garden attracts almost 10 million visitors each year. Sir Peter Crane was a former director of the Royal Botanic Gardens at Kew and a former dean of the Yale School of Forestry and Environmental Studies. He said, if beauty is the harmonious relationship among parts, then Mrs. Mellon, through the gardens and landscapes she designed, was a true creator of beauty. Peter Crane is also the president of the Oak Spring Garden Foundation. This creation was formed by Bunny Mellon and endowed with $215 million that Bunny raised herself. She did this before her death when she made arrangements with Sotheby's Auctions to sell her masterworks, jewelry, and the interiors of her home. Oak Spring, her former estate, is shadowed by the Blue Ridge Mountains and set on 700 acres of rolling hills in Virginia. Now open to researchers by appointment, it houses her vast library of garden art, manuscripts, and rare books, along with some 16,000 other objects of beauty. Bunny Mellon died peacefully at her home in Virginia on March 17th, 2014. She was 103 years old.